Hey guys, welcome to Australia and our 2023 Fiat Ovation rental van from ND Campers. Join us for a tour and at the end, some insight into our experience as first time drivers and campers in Australia. Let's get right into it. This is a four person camper van. It drives and functions a lot like the Ram Promaster in the United States. So come on a little closer and let's take a different look. One thing that I really enjoy about this door is gives you the option to just have a screen door and this glass piece stays to the side it's magnetized so you can enjoy the outdoors without all the little bugs inside i really like that part. we have an outlet this outlet you can power um let's say an outdoor uni oven um, you could power a blender if you were doing margaritas. So they give you a couple of different keys. This is going to be our storage area. So this is actually very, very deep. And if you come around this side, you can see both of our suitcases in there. Lots of space for storage, so you don't need to worry about what you're going to do with all your suitcases and stuff when you come into town. It comes with a table and it comes with two chairs, fold out chairs. And then underneath here is some of the hoses and the uh, fresh water hose that you're gonna need in order to fill up your water. So this is gonna be, some would say where the magic happens or just where you poop. But this is where your toilet is. And this setup is actually pretty cool. You kind of see it all over the United States. You can take it, you can drain it, you can shake it, you can do what you need to do, clean it out, and it goes right back in there. That does make things uh, cleanup wise a lot easier. So right here we have our water inlet, and you'll just put your hose right in and fill that sucker up. And they do have a, a city tap. You cook with gas. The oven works with gas. Hot water heater is gas ran and electric ran. It's a dual. The only other thing in the whole camper that has gas function is gonna be your refrigerator and it's a dual function. Plug in electricity and then it also can run off of LP. This setup, you have your gray water where it's gonna come straight out of the van uh, just at this point and then you'll run that into your black water for... Oh, that was a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Had a visitor. Yeah, that's that. Bradley. Did you notice it was name was Bradley? Yep. Yeah. So now that you've seen the outside, let's go check out the inside. Come in. So we'll start with the very front, um, which Brad will go over all of the fun modules in the front, but we do have two captain's chair swivel seats. Captain's log, starting. What? What? Along with a desktop table and a seating arrangement, so if you have four people, you can sit here safely buckled. Above me is a secondary bed, which we'll show you a couple more things up there in just a moment. But right behind you, right here we do have a cooktop stove that is propane based. We do have two propane tanks on board, as Brad showed you. We do also have a nice full size sink situation that has awesome water pressure. Super excited for a shower later. Up front we have a bunch of storage space and then we do also have a bunch of storage space below. So we've got storage here, 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 and here. And all of these are really deep so pots and pans will fit on nicely. We do also have more storage where we're keeping some of our trash right now, along with a little oven that is super cute. If we wanted to bake cookies, we totally could. Then behind me on the other side is a full-size refrigerator and freezer. So much space. A microwave up top, just in case we decide to use it. Inside of here is storage space that does have all of our 
accoutrement in here, including all of our utensils and cleaning supplies. And then we do have one more storage space unit that fits all of my stuff. Brad doesn't even have to put anything in here. It's all mine. And then behind me is our double bed along with a bunch of storage. So again, more storage, so much storage in here. Oh, those slime shut. Then behind me is my favorite part, the bathroom. So we have a cassette toilet, a full size shower with removable shower head, just in case I need to do that. And all of the windows, there's even a window inside of the bathroom, does come with a bug option as well as full privacy shade. We do have a little small hand sink in here as well. And of course, more storage. So above me is gonna be our uh, Bolero's 3400, which is an air conditioning unit that will use uh, electricity to work. Unfortunately, it does not work off gas, so you must plug in to use that feature. We have a full-size skylight that again has a bug net and as well as the privacy, just in case it does get hot in here. What an awesome feature. I wish we had that in Vincent. Up top, we do have another double bed and there is a ladder to get up here if you wanted to use it. As well, I rented the surfboard. They also gave me a wetsuit. So we are fully set up here to go. This does lift in case we wanted more headspace. And Brad will show you the front now. Here we are in the front, the captain's chair, if you will. This, this rig has some pretty cool features on it. So a USB and a USB-C already pre-plugged in there. Now the rest of the house does not have that USB-C option, which most of the phones are going to these days. We have a camera that's built in that shows you what's going on in the back. And then maybe the last thing that's really, really neat about this front area is built-in shades. We've all dealt with those shades where we have to put them up there. They're falling down. They're kind of a pain in the ass to work with. These, you have this little spot pinch these two together and then very gently pull it forward and it's magnetic and it just clicks right in. Same thing with the front windscreen. This side's, uh, these pieces articulate a little bit to fit the gap underneath. Pull these together and it just rides the rails, top and bottom. It comes over and they also are magnetic. Let's say you're pulling into a new RV spot and you wanna make sure you get to your spot appropriately. You've got yourself a little space to work off right up front. I'll start this off with driving. So I updated you guys before um, on how intuitive it became uh, to drive on the left side of the road. Um, I was very timid about it. I was really nervous about today being our first day on the road and um, just really nervous about how everything was going to go and what was going to jump in our way kind of situation. Um, I will tell you that it came very naturally. Um, and I would say that it's rang true. We're not, it's not been that difficult. Uh, in fact, there's signs that we've noticed since then that say stay left everywhere as a good reminder. I would say one of the weirder things is uh, taking a right turn. Um, that's kind of the only time that Nicole and I look at us, is look at each other and go, wow, that was weird. Because uh, you're going from the left lane all the way across the right lane to the left lane. And that's the only time that it really feels like this is wrong, you're messing up or something like that. So there's a couple things that we weren't really prepared for when we started to take this van trip. And one of them was the fact that no one prepared you for the roadkill here in Australia, which is koalas and kangaroos. Twice along the Great Ocean Road, we saw um, a dead koala and a dead kangaroo. It was really sad, but at the same time, that is the nature of the beast driving down these roads. Unfortunately, it's gonna happen. But the cool thing is, is that we knew that there are actually koalas on the Great Ocean Road. They are a little bit harder to find. It's been a really cool experience. Um, a lot more space than Vincent, and I think Nicole alluded to that. But also in saying that, you know, in Vincent we can park in normal spots. Um, in this vehicle, you're not parking in a normal parking spot. 
Um, another thing that we were not prepared for were the uh, holiday parks or the campsite situation, which is something like this. And as you can see, everyone is just shoved into small spaces like a can of sardines. And being from the US, we are fairly used to having some space between the next uh, camper van or the next tent spot. So that was a little bit wild for us. Uh, hence finding the hip camp, which was really awesome to find out that there's hip camp here in Australia. So we are in this gorgeous field right now. Um, unfortunately, it's raining, but we're in this gorgeous field where it's a little more quiet and secluded with something that we're a little bit more used to. So all in all, it's been a really fun trip. It is a little bit shorter of a trip than we anticipated to take just because we are still trying to recover from whatever the heck we got since we got here. We initially rented this van for four days. Part of the reason why we're not staying in the van is Nicole had talked about, you know, us trying to still get over, you know, this garbage that we're holding on to. But the other half of it is, is it's been pretty cumbersome trying to find spots. Uh, you're not allowed to park on the Great Ocean Road. Hip Camp has been pretty awesome. If it were up to me, I would stay right here in this spot for the next two days outside of, I don't have enough food for that. Plan your trip. Make sure that you know where you're staying and the expectations of the stay that you're gonna have when you get there. If you are not looking to do a full van rental and you're wanting to do Great Ocean Road, highly recommend renting a car because you can do it in one single day if you decide so. If not, there are a couple um, spots along the way that you can stop and stay at Airbnbs, uh, B&Bs, or hotels. Please book in advance. These places fill up very quickly, especially during the summer months here in January. Uh, last thing is uh, we enjoyed this van experience a lot just because it's quite different than what our van is like at home. Um, and we love experiencing different kinds of vans and kind of grabbing some little ideas or things that we may want to modify or change with Vincent back at home. So if you guys have any questions about this trip company that we purchased from that'll all be down in the description box where we stayed at this hip camp where we went on the great ocean road if you have any questions that aren't answered by what's in that description box go ahead and leave us uh, something in the comments and we'll get back to you about it for sure we appreciate it and I'm gonna end this now bye bye